Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thought I'd give a review on this meter that I got from Amazon. So Reen Wee RCM9. It's only about $36. I thought it'd be pretty junky meter, but I'm pretty happy with it. I I've been using it for about a week in the industrial environment and been very happy with it. I use a few different meters at my jobs, many different brands, Klein, Flute, Blue Point. And I've got a few others that I don't have here with me. Um, this meter, I've been pretty happy with it. I, I first turn it on, you got auto mode. In auto mode, you can <whistles> test resistance there. One thing I like about this. You can go from testing resistance to plugging this thing in and getting a voltage reading without even switching it. Auto mode basically does resistance, voltage, AC, and DC. We've also got Hertz. I can, what do I have to push this button? Your Hertz reading. Here in the US, we have 60 hertz. So we plug that in. And we have 60.04, which plenty in range. I've, I've got amperage reading on this. So the amperage reading, you just gotta unplug these clips. And it'll give you DC amps. Then you can select AC amps. I've used this meter, all these. I got three different amp meters here. And multimeters and this one is just as accurate as all of these other three meters that sulfur much more money so it's a good meter for somebody around the home or if you're looking to do some work around the shop or even an industrial environment I've been testing it out testing 480 volt circuits and checking the hertz on different devices checking the amp reading of motors It's got a handy little light here. That way if you're working in a dark area, you have the light very handy. Turns off. 
you have like an inrush current where if you start up a motor you can detect how much it's drawing when it first starts up you can it's a pretty decent meter for the price I, it does just as much as any of my other meters it even comes with some attachments here I've got a temperature probe in Celsius I have not found out I have to read the manual a little bit more it might go in Fahrenheit mode there's Fahrenheit right there Fahrenheit 68 degrees you just gotta push the selector button 68 degrees and then there's a little probe here a little probe there you can put that somewhere and get the if i put my put it between my fingers i can get pretty close to my dotty temp 96 i imagine that's pretty close 97 has DC, AC and DC amps which is pretty nice and you can like I said you can get the it'll tell you the inrush current when you start a motor to it'll say how much it jumps up to yeah, I, I like it because it's a fairly small meter I can stick this in my back pocket and climb up a ladder and get some readings or also comes with a couple other attachments here you got some banana clips or alligator clips I mean They're handy to, if you want to work hands free, you hook these on to what you're testing and test the power. I think that's about it. Come with a little wrist strap. You can put that on your wrist if you're worried about dropping it. It'll hang from that if it you drop it'll drop it won't go very far let's see what else we can test we can attempt you can test test capacitors the microfarads I think there's a Diode tester on this one too, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So you can see the ranges on it. Oh. These are all the ranges that you can use it on. Like I said, this thing is just as accurate as a much more expensive meter and more compact hopefully this helps you if you're looking for a meter I'm not looking to spend a lot of money on some jobs we required to have a good quality meter so 
sometimes you're forced to use a more expensive meter because not because it is better quality or it works better but because they want to know the name brand of the meter that you're using like some places all they want you to use is a fluke meter and that's all they'll let you use luckily i work at a place where i can use any meter i want most of the time and i've been playing with this on the job site and very happy with it i'll put a link to the this meter in the description and hopefully this helps you purchase a meter when you're ready to purchase one thanks you thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and any questions please ask Thank you and have a nice day.